Hello and welcome to day number four of Booktubeathon. Yeah, I am so excited. So many accomplishments. I heard day three was pretty rough for everyone, but I came out strong and determined on day three and day four, so we are good there. For day number three, I completed Wicked by Sarah Shepard. It's the fifth book in the Pretty Little Liar series. It took me three days to get through, and it was my first book read for the Booktubeathon. That wasn't the only success I had for that day. I also finished The Notebook by Nicholas Sparks, and I did not need any tissues. I rated this, along with Wicked, four out of five stars on Goodreads, and there's just Nicholas Sparks is like the god of romance and the god of everything good and love and I really enjoyed this book even though seeing the movie prior but I'm so glad I at least picked up this book and read it because I'm a girl, the notebook should be a given to read on a girl's list. For day four I knocked out a huge chunk of my challenges. I got another one checked off. It's over 500 pages. This book on Goodreads says it's 688 pages and that is Impulse by Ellen Hopkins, and I'm so excited I picked this up. <sighs> Just kidding, those were there before, but I devoured this book in a day, and I was shocked because I didn't realize I could read this book that quickly. And yes, you might think it's super long, but the format is what really got me. I was really sketchy, and I didn't really like reading in that format, but once I got reading, I actually started enjoying this book a whole lot more, and I found it overall enjoying. I also read this book 4 out of 5 stars on Goodreads, and yeah, I'm really glad I actually picked up this book. Hit subscribe and like, also comment in the below box. What all challenges have you accomplished? And also, what are your tips or advice? Mine is to turn everything off and just isolate yourself and come hermit and that's how I feel about things. And so you actually get things more done accomplished when you get away from the computer and whatnot. But it does suck when you don't get to do the sprints, which kind of is unfortunate. But I still am enjoying Booktubeathon to its fullest. I also watched the live event. I will post the link in the description box below. You can also find it on Petfoot and Prongs 07's channel which is also Raylene, and so I just want to thank her for this awesome book to with on so far, and keep it coming because it cannot be any better than this. Thank you for watching, and have an awesome night.